Good afternoon and welcome to the Grand Prairie Seniors Reading Theater Project to pay tribute to the late Mary Nutting and her book, A Grand Education, 100 Schools in the County of Grand Prairie, 1910 through 1960. This was compiled by Mary in 2010 in collaboration with the South Peace Regional Archives Society. My name is Mary Helen Hopkins and I am presenting Harry Balfour School, which is where I am at this very moment. In the 1950s, with improvements in transportation and the road network in the South Peace, it was possible to consider consolidating the one-room schools in the area. Larger schools meant more opportunities and a better education for the students. Teaching eight grades in one room was a difficult assignment for any teacher, and it was becoming more and more difficult to find teachers for small schools. Added to this was the fact that many of the schools built in the early years of the century and often of log needed to be replaced. It was time for a new system. In October, 1955, the Grand Prairie Herald Tribune reported that the county school was under construction on the north boundary of the town. The inspection report of May 1956 described it as a frame and stucco construction with eight classrooms, a staff room, and washrooms. The architect was Campbell Hope and Associates from Edmonton, who had also designed the Teepee Creek School. The builder, was John Bransather of Hythe, who had built many of the one-room frame schools in the west side of the county for the last 20 years. Total cost for the school was $105,562. It was completed by the following summer and named after Harry Balfour, who had been a school inspector for many years. Captain Balfour was born and raised in Ontario. He graduated from Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario with a BA, and after doing undergraduate work in Cambridge, England, completed his MA at the University of Alberta. For a few years, he taught in schools around Edmonton, but with the outbreak of World War I, he enlisted with the 51st Battalion and fought in France. He won the rank of captain, was wounded and taken prisoner in the Battle of the Somme. After the war, he again took up teaching at Victoria High School in Edmonton. In 1929, the large Peace River Inspectorate was divided and Mr. Balfour became inspector of schools in Grand Prairie. He transferred to the staff of the Edmonton Normal School in September, 1930 but was soon back as inspector in 1933. He was greatly respected by boards and teachers alike, and his ability to mediate difficulties in the rural schools was evident to all. Harry Balfour School opened in September, 1956, with Claude Cavett as principal and 218 students from the many small districts around Grand Prairie, Crystal Creek, Curry, Five Mile Creek, Flying Shot Lake, Glen Leslie, Hermit Lake, Kleskin Lake, Lucky Tree, Millerston, Percy, Sum, Twilight, and Wapiti. The first school board consisted of representatives from these areas. Mr. Balfour attended the official opening of Harry Balfour School on October 20th, 1956 and presented the school with pictures of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, and the Duke of Edinburgh. And to conclude, here is Harry Balfour's letter, which he wrote upon receiving notice that this school would be named after him. April 18th, 1956. Dear Mr. Bowen, Secretary Treasurer of the County of Grand Prairie, name of new school in Grand Prairie. I have received your letter of April 11th, 1956, regarding the use of my name for the above school. I shall feel very highly honored to have my name used in this way and hope that the council's choice in this matter 
is the result of some little assistance which I may have given because of my official position and that it is not based on a desire to perpetuate my responsibility for any errors in judgment. A number of school buildings in the province have been named after individuals. It is not necessary to provide a number because the erection of this school does not create a new school district. While it is not necessary to include County of Grand Prairie in the name of the building, it may be desirable to have some clear indication on the building itself that it is the county rather than the town school district which has provided the school. Yours very truly, H.E. Balfour, Director of School Administration.